guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Can you believe it has been um, a month, pretty much, since I started YouTube? My first video was April Favourites and now it's May Favourites so I kind of feel like um, it's great that I'm still here. Thank you for sticking with me. And also thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far. Um, I think there was like 450 subscribers last time I checked. and. I'm really happy that people are even subscribing so I don't think anybody would care what I have to say but um, yeah so thank you so much if you've subscribed. So today's video is my May favourite. I've been trying out a few new products but a lot of things I am still loving since last month like um, loads of makeup, my cleansing routine, I'm still loving all of that um, but there are a few new products. So I'm going to start with skincare. Um, this is actually the very first product that I ever blogged about so it's always going to hold a special place in my heart and it is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser. Now um, there's nothing obviously new about this apart from the cool lid, it's got like a aboriginal coffee bean kind of design on the lid which is really cool but nothing has changed with the formula if you've tried this before a few years ago. It still has this amazing it makes my mouth water, it's so nice, it's like an orangey, really refreshing, you know when you peel a tangerine and it just smells so uplifting, it's definitely got that smell about it, and it's got a kind of like wobbly, <laughs> wobbly jelly formula, and it's really good for my skin, which is combo, kind of a little bit oily, but it's not too strong for my skin, my skin just drinks it in, and it's meant to be like a shot of espresso for your skin, but I really do find that it wakes up and makes me look a little bit more perky in the mornings, which is always a good thing. So this is definitely a fave for this month. Also on skincare, I'm still obviously obsessed with the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, but oh my god, <gasps> look at this! So this is their 20th anniversary set, and it contains not one, not two, but three cleanse and polishes. So you've got the limited edition rose and lavender, um, grapefruit and patchouli, apparently, um, and orange flower and chamomile, and oh my god, like how beautiful, I cannot wait to try these. Um, the formula is still going to be the same, so I know it's going to be a favourite, but I haven't actually tried the special edition ones yet, but this is a favourite because I still am obsessed with Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. Whoop, whoop. Another kind of skincare product is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe face oil. Um, you can see I've used like maybe three weeks worth of this and this is, as you can kind of guess from the name, it's a tanning oil that you put on your face. I love tanning my face, I hate it when my face is pale than the rest of my body and this is really easy to use because you just pipette a couple of drops in your hands, rub them together and then like press it over your face. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards though because I had the dreaded blacked webbed bit um, for about a week after I first used this but it says Lux Oil and it really is, the smell is so nice and I find some tanning products on the face can just be really stinky and my boyfriend will always be like, Ugh, don't come too close to me, you stink but with this it's got a really kind of luxurious smell about it and the colour that it gives your face is really really lovely, just natural, golden and very pretty so this is most definitely a favourite. Then we've got a product from Neil's Yard, is it Neil's Yard Remedies? And this is their Wild Rose Beauty Balm. It can be used as a cleanser or a mask, but I haven't actually been using it for any of those things yet. I've just been using it for um, dry patches of skin, so I get really dry, like in this area, which is really random, um, and also on my elbows. So I've been using it, <laughs> is that gross? I don't know. I've been using it for that, and it smells like spas, it's just really really lovely and the packaging is so cute as well. It's got a very, um, I think it's a lavender scent but it's called Wild Rose, let's, I don't know I'm really rubbish with um, fragrances but yeah this is a really lovely product, it stops me from getting dry there. I haven't used hand cream in about like 48 hours now and it's still not dry in that area because I put this on after I last showered. <laughs> I have showered since, okay I'm just gonna just gonna stop. Um, kind of going in order of how I apply products to my face, the next favourite is from a brand called Delilah and it's their Underwear Future Resist Primer. I knew I was gonna love this because it's got a rose gold lid so um, aside from the packaging it's also really beautiful because it just keeps my makeup in place all day long, it's got a really nice texture, I don't feel like it clogs up my pores like a few other primers that I've been trying do. 
Um, and there's loads in the tube. I think it's really good value for money. And I'd not heard of this brand before. I don't think many other bloggers even talk about it. But under the radar, um, it's just a really beautiful product and my skin seems to love it. Plus, it's got anti-aging ingredients in it and it's something that I am kind of thinking about recently. So, this is a fave. I don't really have any more kind of um, foundation-y, bronzery eyeshadow favourites this month because I've been pretty much using the same stuff that I used in last month's favourites. However, there's a few um, lip balms which I've been loving. Balms as a whole are just a favourite of mine. I don't really um, bother with lipstick on an everyday basis, so if I can just add a pop of colour to my lips after I've done my foundation, then that is a bonus. Um, two different brands, both with two products that have been my favourites. First is Benefit, and their Cha Cha Balm and po that's really fun. Cha Cha Balm, Cha Cha, and their Posy Balm are definitely favourites. They both just have, they give a really light. Um, oh, they both give a really light, subtle colour to the lips. I'd say Posy Balm is my favourite because it's just a really pretty girly pink, and then Cha Cha Balm is more of a corally colour. But I just apply it. Um, I've actually got. Posy Balm on now so you can see it's just a very light wash of colour and then it kind of tints your lips afterwards as well so they're really beautiful and then for a very similar product it's the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfectors these were a favourite of mine I think since way back in like my March favourites on my blog and they are still a favourite and the Benefit ones kind of reminded me how much I love the Clarins ones and these are just so stunning they are an absolute favourite for putting in my makeup bag they look beautiful, the actual product itself inside is stunning and I just recently got this slightly deeper shade, it's the 05, yeah, it's the red one and it just gives such a kind of like snow white tinted red lips, it's seriously beautiful so these are definitely favourites. And then when I finish applying my makeup I have got into a new habit of spritzing my face and the product that I have been doing that with has been the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and so many vloggers were like oh my gosh Josie you have to try this it's so good and I saw it in Sephora once and I was like oh do I want to do I want to buy it because I was going through a phase of using the Urban Decay one so I didn't buy it but recently I just caved and trying this out and it is so lovely the smell is almost kind of I'd say, I want to say cucumbery. Um, I don't know, but it just reminds me of holidays. You know when you go on holiday and the rooms smell really fresh? That's kind of what this smells like. It's almost almost a little bit clinical, but more cucumbery, spary, very like awakening, and it's just a beautiful smell. But I apply this after I finish doing my makeup so that it freshens it all up a little bit. And then I also keep on my desk at work. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I feel a little bit like you know, drab, um, and this really freshens it up. You have to give it a good shake because you can see it goes a little bit yellowy at the top, but it's just beautiful, so this is a favourite. And while I'm talking about Cordially, I have some exciting news. I have 10 of the Cordially My Perfect boxes to give away. I will link all the details which are in a blog post down below this video. So this is like a beauty box that Cordially have put together full of their latest launches. I have one I prepared earlier. You will win um, this box and you've got a little notebook, the Radiance Tinted Moisturiser which is SPF 20 so perfect for popping on on the beach. You've got the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum and also, what's this one, the Cell Renewal Night Cream. So basically, oh, and um, glycolic peel, like a little sachet sample and a notebook. So this is a really fab way to try all the quarterly new products and I've got 10 to give away so you're quite likely to win um, but yeah I'll pop all the details of the blog post where you can enter in the link below. I can't remember if I talked about this in last month's favourites but I, if I did I'm sorry I'm still obsessed with it, if I didn't then I should have done because I love it. It's the Liz Earl Eau de Parfum oh no, Botanical Essence in number 15. It is just the most gorgeous fragrance, it's just warm and lovely and kind of musky and you know when a fragrance just makes you feel really like um, happy and relaxed and just really good memories. I'd, I've never smelled this before but it still just makes me feel really like... I love it. I just love it. And then the last few products, this is something I should have talked about when I was talking about my makeup but I forgot. This is the HD Perfecting Powder and it's from a brand called, it's a French brand so I'm sorry if my accent is rubbish, but it's Chantigal or oh, Chantigal, yeah. 
Um, it's that HD Perfecting Powder, and it is seriously the most beautiful powder I've ever tried. It's like silky and light, and it doesn't clog anything up or make you look cakey, and it's just I mean, the packaging, for one, is beautiful. It's in this really gorgeous, like, kind of mottly silver. It looks almost naturally, like, shell-like steel or something. I don't know, it's really cool. But this, I use it when um, I'm going to be taking lots of pictures because it's got, uh, like, HD... Ooh! <laughs> airbrushy kind of finish to it. And it's just stunning, and it's really good for keeping my under-eye makeup in place. So this is gorgeous and defo a fave. And then hair care, I've got the Windle and Moody Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. This is a duo which I've been keeping in my spare bathroom and I found myself, I don't normally like going in that bathroom but because I know that these are in there, I've been going in there way more recently. The reason why I put them in the spare one is because they are so beautiful, I just kind of wanted to show off that I have fancy shampoo and conditioner and they really are stunning. So whenever I use them my hair is really glossy and it smells amazing and you know when you're using a really luxurious shampoo and conditioner you can kind of tell when you're using it because it just lathers more and it smells amazing and you feel like you're really pampering yourself so Windle and Moody these are amazing and then I would say that's it but I feel the need to talk about a really um, sad bunch of things right now I am obsessed with stationery, like it's a weird little obsession that I have and I have to say that these notebooks need to go in my favourites because, I mean, they are so cute! I picked these up from Selfridges and they were ridiculously expensive, I think, I took the price tags off, but I think this was like maybe even £16 and this was probably about £20 but I'm obsessed with stationery and I thought they'd look really pretty in my Instagram pictures so that's basically why I bought these. I have really bad pins and needles. So these are just really, really beautiful um, notebooks and I couldn't resist them when I saw them, so these are faves. Oh, I found one more thing. This is uh, the Gel Effect Nail Varnish from Nails Inc. I have been wearing this or its kind of more lilac-y sister for basically the past three weeks non-stop. I really like the formula. They're long-lasting. They give a kind of plumped up effect to your nails, which is what you would have if you did have actual gel on your nails. This is the colour Colville Muse, and I think the one that I'm wearing right now is like Porchester Square or Portman Square, but I just think they're such beautiful, natural kind of colours, and the effect is just beautiful, so I love these. And that's it, those are all the products that I have been loving throughout the month of May. I feel like, um... We're getting into summer now, so maybe next month I'll put a few like sun creams or things like that, depending on which I've been trying out. June is going to be really fun. I've got a trip to the Cotswolds for a long weekend. Um, I've got a couple of afternoon teas. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to be taking her out for an afternoon tea. And then at the end of June, I'm going to Corfu, so I'm just really excited for some holidays. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, then please subscribe up around this general area and yes I hope you have a super duper week until I see you next time and don't forget about the giveaway the 10 quarterly boxes link in the box below go and enter check it out you are quite likely to win because there's 10 prizes and guys I will see you next time bye bye